So it's down to business here. Now the pass. A really good feat from him. Chance! He's gone for it! It's come out to him, and no mistake! Could that be the start of something big? That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Deportivo didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Deftly done. Zidane. Away from immediate danger. That is terrific skill. Forward it goes. And it's Van Arnholt. Looks to slip it through. And Danovic can claim that. Over to the left. Passes it through. Can he score? And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Well, that's good use of his body to keep the defender at bay and, and still get a shot away. Just brushed off the ball there. Patrick van Arnholt. He's left his man. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Well, the further he went, the more it's... And the finish! Back of the net! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball. Has a hit! And he's done it! Yeah, looking back at that. And we hit half-time. Well, what a comeback. Certainly, I didn't see that coming, nor I think did many in this crowd. The midway point of the game. Well, Peter, I'm just thinking of the best way to describe that. Frantic. Um... Patrick van Arnholt. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Kolasinac. Van Arnholt. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Has a pop! And he's there to make a great save. I thought the keeper did well to retrieve that. They work all week on that sort of situation and he reacted very well then. It's so nit... Heads it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. That's a throw. to win it back Peter they have to fight the onset of desperate just it's Saha oh taken win style two up and threatening to pull clear Deportivo are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield we're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net it's counter attacking heaven well, it's an inspired substitution terrific move by the boss that's how you make an impact as a sub, you know what? Tries one! David Luiz. He's to get it forward quickly. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. And it's Blint. And he's there to cut it out. The final whistle. One foot firmly in the next round, victory away from home, home comforts to come, much of the job is done. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim?
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Begley. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Deportivo are back on familiar territory, having secured victory in the first leg. And the finish! The defence can get it oh, clear. That's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Gormis. And now the breakaway, right through the middle. Can he finish? Dispatched clinically. And it's Deportivo who take the lead. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Peter, I can tell you that was nothing short of a cold blooded execution. Deportivo take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Aimed long and direct. The ball's come loose. Can he put it away? Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Milner. Milner. Deftly done. And the first 45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But rather still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Deportivo come off having scored the only goal. How about it? Now it's Sahar. Looks like a good ball. Shot at goal! They've managed to get it away. Now a chance to break. Played out to the right. Coaxed out to the wing. Pumps it into the area. Promising cross. Real Madrid are enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. Gomez. Chip through. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Real Madrid keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of good. He's good for it! Goal! Two up now, and they are cruising. Deportivo are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Repelled by the keeper. And that's that. Deportivo have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their...